I don't know how loud to be. I don't know how loud I am compared to the music. But I know it's Tuesday night, which means it's going to be a great night. Hello, all you beautiful denizens of Chat Realm. Brian Rushwick, Justin Robert Young. And uh, uh, for some reason, a third camera that is has nobody there. But you it's usually know. where I am. That's it's <laughs> usually and where I will return, for the record. Uh, that's <laughs> day. But for now, I am I am not here. Oh, it's just all on the jart. Yes. Oh, there Zoom we go. It's the jart. jart cam. Justin Punch and the jart. The jart. Yeah, we need more jart. Uh, uh, right now, it would be a very small museum. Uh, <laughs> but you know what? We can only would admit... not take long to get through it. But <laughs> you, if we you... if we continue to get more jart, then we will make the world's foremost Jar Jar Binks themed art museum. Yes. Uh, eventually, we will remove the Lilliputian sign that says you must be shorter than this amount to enter. Smurfs only. <laughs> we're back. We're back to Papa Smurf and his complicated relationship with uh, his tribe. With Daisy Smurf, is it uh, Daisy? Smurf no, Smurfette. Smurfette. Yeah. There. Wait. There was a. Oh, Smurfette was originally a brunette. That was when she was bad. But then she became good and blonde. Nice. That's good. Wait. And you know, my daughter. My daughter has blonde hair and blue eyes. What a fucking upset. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I mean, are we sure it's Ashley's then? <laughs> yeah, well, I mean, I know she has blonde hair and blue eyes. Like, uh, at least when she was a kid, she had blonde hair. But I thought, I don't know. I thought I thought my daughter looked like Sophia Loren. Next thing you know, this girl's uh, uh, the, the dream of a nation I don't want to <laughs> say specifically. Uh, I told you, I, I'm sure I've mentioned this before, but... Uh, like the second baby, uh, I think it was Josie was an infant, and I was looking at her brow, and it's like, yeah, that's 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 my brow, and I was like, maybe all babies have it, and I walked down maternity row, and I was like, nope, <laughs> no need for a DNA test here. Yeah, you got browed. I got you browed. got browed, kid. Yeah. Uh, uh, hey, uh, uh, chat room. Let me know if if that in studio that just now clipped from Justin, but if it didn't on the stream, then we're all good. Um, hey, so uh, can I tell you about how I know I'm old? You know how I know I'm old? How you know you old? I got new lenses, and you know what's special about these lenses? Are you bifocaling it? I'm bifocaling. I'm bi now. <laughs> yeah, everyone's doing it. So uh, 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 bifocals are when you have looking up, it is it is so you can see further and then when you were looking down and so you can read better right yeah so so the uh i was off <laughs> we did the the lens correction with the optometrist and you know you did the better one better two things mm -hmm. and uh and uh i it, 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 it was we corrected for you think an optometrist like a real silly one just like like better one better two and next thing you know there's just like a big old peen like he just like takes like hardcore pornography. And well, you would be, to... oh my God, it would be the perfect place to do magic because the one thing every magician wishes for is that you could do the kind of trick that the spectator is locked down with yeah. no peripheral vision. Could you imagine the amount of magic you could do? Imagine you're leaning forward and you're doing the better, focus one, focus two. And meanwhile, yeah. an assistant is very quietly setting up like, an entire set of Jurassic Park, and it's like, okay, well, let's see. And then the moment you lean back, you you're like, what the? And the moment your head turns, then they cover up the thing you were looking at. Yeah. And then and then they look back, and and there's a T Rex going. Rawr. Excuse me. Uh, you're yeah. welcome, Michael Carbonero. Go for it, <laughs> Andrew yeah, Maine. If you want to do this, it's all yours. Take your take it take it like a takeaway pizza, like <laughs> chicken from a chicken shop. <laughs> That's what you can do with that idea. Take it home, eat it up, nourish it, nourish yourself. So, uh, uh, anyway, you're at the optometrist. I, I, I derailed you. So you, uh, uh, you are at the optometrist. You're doing better one, better two. Yeah. Well, and we get to the part where he's corrected my far vision and it's like, yeah, it's drifting. You know, that, that happens. And I was like, yeah. Uh, and then we do the nearsighted. I'm like, well, I'm very nearsighted. I just, you know, take down my, take off my glasses and so on. 
And and then I'm thinking I'll just get, not gonna worry about nearsighted stuff, just gonna get corrected for farsightedness. Uh, and then uh, he he pulls out the prescription. He's like, "Yeah, you're not gonna like this." And, and I'm like, "What?" Uh, he's like, "Well, if we correct for your far, you, you know, for far sight, you're not gonna be. You're gonna have to remove your glasses to even see your phone." And so, uh, and so he put on he assembles like a fake pair of glasses for me with, with like yeah. seven lenses. I look like I'm straight out of fucking Hogwarts or some shit. Mm -hmm. uh, and mm -hmm. and, uh, and I'm like, "Oh my god, this is great! I got 4K." definition eyes now and then he's like yeah try looking at your phone and i'm like oh jesus christ and i become i become this guy who has to yeah. do this to see it and uh and so we're t you know he's suggesting well we could do under your prescription or whatever and i'm like look i already have squinty eyes to begin with and when i can't see something far away i'm gonna squint even more and i'm on camera enough that i don't want to look squinty and uh, squinty and frowny and all that shit I'm like, ah, such a bummer that we have to compromise. And he goes, well, you know. Squinty and Frowny is my favorite morning show. <laughs> Squinty and the up. Frown? <laughs> Squinty and the Frown, yeah. <laughs> and then on Wacky Wednesdays, they they do the turn that frown upside down challenge where they have uh -huh. to do like a beer bong. <laughs> Where yeah, where 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 the frown goes in the gravitron because the state fairs in town. Why don't they sell whiskey bongs, <laughs> just hard liquor bongs? I think that they might. It's called uh, uh, the beginning of every night that ends with a college kid in the hospital. <laughs> yeah, no shit. Uh, so uh, at any rate, uh, squinty and frowny. You are you are now uh, uh, coming to terms with your new prescription. Yeah. So then he he says, well, you know, there is a uh, <laughs> there is a no compromises option, and then he gives me a significant look. I'm like, <gasps> are you talking about going full buy? And he's like, I am. And uh, so I, 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 I fucking stupid expensive the lenses. Uh, being by is expensive. Yep. Yep, and most people hate you. Uh, uh, <laughs> you don't fit in anywhere. <laughs> you don't fit in. Yeah, yeah. No, it's a real, it's a real rough one. So, it, it, it's, it's, it's a, it's a price upgrade. So I'm not. Again, I'm not familiar with the bifocal world. So the, the, the top lenses are what you need to see forward, and then the, the bottom one is it corrective at all, or is it just without the correction? Uh, it's, it's not corrective. I, uh, for me, I believe. But it, uh, these are the, they call them progressives. So not only am I bi, I'm finally progressive. As a, as a progressive bi individual, Justin, yep. I think I can speak with authority on a whole plethora of issues now. Well, you have spent your 20s in Austin. <laughs> so, uh, but uh, yeah, basically it's corrected far sight lenses. Like, uh, I don't know. I, I only got them an hour ago, two hours ago. So oh. this is all new to me, but basically... It's weird. If you look at something and it's out of focus, just kind of without trying, you're, uh, you, you, uh, since, since we've played a fair bit of Oculus, like we kind of know what it's like to have everything go bendy and then you, your brain adjusts in about three yeah, seconds, yeah. right? Uh, that's what it's like. And now just everything is in focus. And if it's not in focus, I just, you know, my head naturally moves to where it is in focus. To, 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 to have it, to have it get there. Yeah. That's it's amazing. It's, and so, and, and meanwhile, you can also look at your, at your phone, which is oh. the, the, the reason for the, for the bifocal side of it. Yeah. I've, I've not seen, in order to see my phone this clear, I, I'd have to hold it previously about four inches away from my eyes. Damn. Uh, but, but now, but now just, you know, uh, right this far. Now I do have to look like a pretentious piece of garbage. Cause I, I'll, I'll be looking down my nose, uh, at everybody. I look, I look like Stringer Bell. If you want to read them, right? Yeah. But yeah, that's like, true. you know, it's not like Nate's got his address tattooed on his forehead. Shit. And you have to look at him like that. If my glasses like turned into sunglasses when I walked outside, I would be progressive by and trans. Transitions lenses. Sorry, is that too far? <laughs> Have I gone too far? No, it's that's the exact reaction that that joke deserves. <laughs> All right, thank you, chat realm. <laughs> uh, so you mentioned that this uh, that this also has played into uh, Mario Kart a rivalry that you've had with uh, your daughter. Yeah, so uh, 
We're about uh, six weeks into playing Mario Kart on the regular with uh, Callie. And uh, <laughs> uh, uh, when we're playing... Uh, Which version again? Uh, Which version are, are, are you uh, Whatever, playing? I, I guess for the Switch, is there a more recent the, yeah, one? Okay, yeah, the one, the, one that, the one that came out with the Switch, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Great, and, it's a great version. Great it, version of Mario. Yeah, it is, and it's got the previous versions and stuff. And it's interesting, because I hated it at first, because I had been out of the Mario Kart biz, and I'm just like, this is just a nonsense engine. It's all, there's no nuance or subtlety. But that, now I'm at the point where it's like, and a trick, and every single trick, oh, I missed one trick. And then uh, yeah. I, I now know... That all that that uh, when Brian plays as Luigi, Luigi uh, needs fast acceleration because he hits walls sometimes. Uh, mm. So don't do top speed and and actually bother to do handling and stuff. You know, uh, uh, Ashley's like a Mario Kart hustler. Oh yeah, did she did oh, she yeah, turn no. on baby mode and then be like, I don't really know, and then turn it off and then crush? I her. wanted her to do that in Japan. And she wouldn't. I wanted to white men can't jump these fucking Japanese dudes, and uh, she wouldn't let me. I was what? like, "What?" I was like, 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 we were in fucking Tokyo at this shop bar, and they started playing Mario Kart, and I was like, "Hey, can we fuck a white man? Let's jump. Can, can we? Can we do white man uh, uh, can't jump?" And she was like, "What's white man can't jump?" And I'm like, "Okay, so it's a movie, and it has what's these knives and Woody Harrelson, but they're basketball hustlers, and so he like acts like he can't play, but then all of a sudden it's like, well, what what if we made it a little interesting? And next thing you know, you're like really good. So you're a white girl, you're in fucking Tokyo, you don't know how to speak Japanese. Of course, everybody's gonna think that you suck shit at fucking Mario Kart, but you're an actual pro. And uh, she was like, "No, I would just like to play the game." And I'm like. We could have been rolling in yen. We could have been running. We could have been running out here with our fistfuls of yen, trying to avoid the t great and terrible yakuza. And next thing you know, she just wanted to go to sleep, which uh, I guess probably for to our benefit. But that would have been I, I fucking like epic beyond words, right? Yeah. Uh, anyway, my wife is really good at Mario Kart, and she whips the living shit out of me whenever we play. And uh, 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 we should all play Mario Kart at some point. You should bring bring the kid over. So uh, since since I'm playing as Luigi, I uh, and I'm frustrated because I used to be good at video games, and then I got real bad because I didn't play them. But now, you know, so it's, it's just like fucking that chicken. If you keep on fucking that chicken, you get real good yeah. at it. Um, yeah. And the, the chicken that you got from the store. Uh, it mm -hmm. just occurred to me that mm -hmm. I don't know if Nathan knows the keep fucking that chicken meme. Do Do you know it? I don't. Please introduce me. No, no, no. We'll get there. Uh, that's that's advanced old old man internet. Wait, hold on. No, when are we gonna get there? We are already here. Where you've had to ask Nathan whether or not he's seen the video. Let's I've never heard the phrase, there. but like uh, somebody somebody screwed a thing up on a morning news program. And... Just play the video. Oh, okay. Well, I guess I can find it. Yeah. Uh, uh, here, cover for me, Justin. Yeah. Hey, uh, uh, Nathan. So there's this thing called the internet. Yes, and it connects it. everybody not together, and a lot of people use it to upload various different clips, bits and bobbles of culture, really, of that course. we shared to create our common uh, shared experience. And there was one time a viral and clip, probably Fox. nearly as old as you, that uh, uh, you know went went around, and Brian remembered it, and then uh, said it out loud, and now we're here. All right, here we go. So this dude, uh, this on Fox Five Sky Guardian, and then check that seven day to make your weekend like plans. It takes a tough man to make a tender forecast, Nick. I guess that's me. <laughs> Keep fucking that chicken. <laughs> okay, I'll just uh, right, I'll only continue. <laughs> so, what? <laughs> Like, I don't know. Maybe he meant to say keep plucking that chicken, like keep on the hard work, but just... There's uh, got to be a story behind that yeah, at right? this point. Actually, keep... you know what? I, I could maybe ask chat GPT. I actually, I actually misremembered that, uh, that clip because I thought it was another clip where people were yelling at each other and then one of them in anger said, keep fucking that chicken... This one seemed like that dude was just either the most gregarious human on the planet or a uh, 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 drunk. Well, right. Well, there's only there's only two ways that that works. On Fox Five Sky Guardian. Well, and, and, and also like the guy, the guy who 
<laughs> the guy who's giving the, the weather report, his job is to give the fucking weather report. So he just gave the weather report. And you can tell he's got it put together. And clearly the anchor is not paying attention. He, and, and he's just like, cool story, bro. And he's like, yeah, I'm doing my job. Like this. <laughs> I'm Fox 5 Sky Guardian. And then check that seven day to make your weekend like plans. It. Takes a tough man to make a tender forecast, Nick. Uh, I guess that's me. Keep... <laughs> like he's like, haha, okay, that was dumb. Fucking that chicken. <laughs> okay, so apparently, a, apparently, Anastos, Greg Anastos, who is the guy who who said the line, has said later that he did mean to say keep plucking that chicken. So what? keep fucking that chicken is not an actual <laughs> phrase that he is using. It's not like some old broadcast <laughs> phrase. Keep fucking that chicken. Uh, I 100% believe it. <laughs> Although, couldn't you go back to that clip and just look at the guy's hands, the, 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 the weather the yeah, weather yeah, forecaster? Yeah, we just go. at the very end, uh, look at his resigned hand. Guy Guardian, and then check that seven day to make your weekend like plans. It. Takes a tough man to make a tender forecast, Nick. Uh, I guess that's me. Keep fucking that chicken. <laughs> okay, I'll do that. Uh, <laughs> do, do, there's definitely a... Oh, yeah, that's right. He's just like, I don't know. I don't know either. <laughs> this guy. Oh, fuck. Fuck, fuck, fuck. I think the internet just chat the bed for a second. But it's better now. He he gives this resign like, right, I don't we continue. know. <laughs> just... Uh. Ah, I guess I have to fuck this chicken now. That that's what those hands say. Yeah. So at any rate, uh uh Mario Kart with Luigi featuring uh uh so so I'm not good at video games, uh but I don't want to express like rage and anger in front of my daughter. I want to channel it into comedy. So I've been I've been developing this character like I I take instead of saying like fuck this game, fuck fuck fuck, instead uh, I go into character as Luigi, who uh, is just enraged at his brother's success and feels like it's undeserved. He's just like, uh, 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 Luigi, oh, why they call it the Mario Kart? No, why not call it the Luigi Kart? Mario, he's so fat. He's so fat. Everybody, oh, Mario, so great. He's like, where's Luigi game? Where's Luigi world? Yeah, you know, and it's like, I, one day, yeah. Luigi make a pipe bomb. He blow up at everyone. And then uh, <laughs> I can just keep on going. Getting uh, dark, yeah. Yeah. Uh, Callie will, will pull it back and she's like, Luigi, what are you doing? I don't like pipe bomb Luigi. And he's like, <laughs> ah, so sorry. Like every morning, uh, Luigi wake up and he say, uh, peace, peace, bliss. And he goes, no pipe bomb. Uh, the pipe bomb of Luigi gone. You don't worry. Uh, okay. Only good racing Luigi. Number one Luigi, they say. Uh, and of course, I never win. Never get one. In, yeah. Number one. Uh, Callie plays on baby mode, wins all the time. And uh, there have been various phases of Luigi. Uh, smash cut to a week and a half ago. I'm at the optometrist. And the technician, super friendly, uh, seems to be early, mid-20s. Uh, you could tell he's got a checklist and a program. And he's chipper as could be. And uh, he's just grinning and, and catching my gaze and holding it uh, just a little bit long. Um, and the thing about being a, a progressive bi person is when someone catches your gaze, uh, <laughs> you, you want to catch theirs? <laughs> well, yeah. And you want to hold on to that gaze. <laughs> oh, do you? <laughs> and uh, uh, anyway, uh, and I start to think, oh, I've been made. This guy, yeah, because I assume some people know that that guy from YouTube is around in this area. It's, it's, uh, and it's getting around. It's get everyone's talking. Uh, Did well, you know the guy from YouTube's around in this area? I mean, it, hot YouTubers are in your area. Okay. And they want to It happened on Sunday at at, uh, <laughs> at the church that Body and I go to for mm -hmm. for ten years. Uh, the sound tech uh, saw me. I was just like. Uh, and I was wearing a modern rogue shirt, and and he said he to was, church. Yeah, well, uh, with with a cool overshirt, uh, you oh it's the God. standard podcaster uniform. <laughs> I didn't wear a hat. <laughs> I took a shower. Yeah, I I only brought the small version of my YouTube play button with me. <laughs> yeah. The pocket size. I, yeah, I, <laughs> so, yeah. I, I only brought the 10,000 sub plaque. I didn't bring the million sub. It's Come like on. a gold card. <laughs> yeah. yeah.
<laughs> so the uh, uh, at any rate, uh, uh, he was like, "Well, welcome to our trip." I'm like, okay, uh, "Yeah, nice." Uh, uh, so so at the optometrist, I think I'm being made. Uh, but then but then he's like, uh, he's like, "Yeah, you know, yesterday we had Callie in here, and uh, I'm told uh, I'm told you do a good Luigi impression," and I'm like. <laughs> <laughs> And I'm like, oh, yeah, yeah, no, it's just something we do. And he's like, uh-huh. And I Man. was like, well, yeah, like, while we were playing, I'll just pretend to be Luigi. And he's like, uh-huh. Yeah. Yeah. Uh-huh. And I'm like, uh-huh. and I'm like what is and the what least? Is, is... Oh, <laughs> I think we just got we, we just got another hiccup. No, and Spectrum! is oh, ho- Luigi ho- with us now? <laughs> and then at that point, it's like, uh, 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 ah, Luigi, Luigi is here. Uh, Luigi, he's chasing all the ghosts. <laughs> so many ghosts in the haunted mansion. The, the way Mario get all the Super Mario games. Uh, Luigi only get this old abandoned haunted mansion. He has to go around to get scared. Everybody laugh at how scared Luigi is. There we go. I filled for the entire third So wait gap. a minute. Hold on. Hold on. Brian, you, you let Lensmonger pimp you out like that? Like, uh, if he's like, hey, uh, I want you to do the Luigi. <laughs> oh, oh, man. Here, you don't get a free fucking show for nothing just because you're, you're getting me lenses. <laughs> you do. You do if you want the right lenses. You. Uh, it's oh, like, come on. You think that they're going to fuck with your lenses because you won't do a Luigi impression for him? You uh, won't dance like a monkey? I, uh, look, dude, all I know is I want to see very clearly, and I'm very amenable to whatever it takes. Whatever oh. I need to do to... to uh, to make sure that I get the right lenses, I'm willing to do. And I'm fine. Oh God, I'm 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 filing a complaint with the lens makers union that that this was this is unprofessional. This man this man shouldn't be pimping out for these things. If you want to freely do the Luigi, well, that's your prerogative as a performer. But but you 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 do this for a living here. You were giving him prime sauce. Yeah yeah. Uh, consider it a little bit of insurance. Uh, Luigi, he pays some of the insurance. Sometimes, some people, the judge say that to bribe Luigi. And Luigi say, uh, uh, no understand the English. Uh, uh, he says, uh, papers, please. I was in Germany. <laughs> that Luigi, man, he goes places. That guy goes places. Gets around. Uh, I bl- I mean, I don't know. That's... It's, it's sweet that Callie is so enthusiastic. And you know how Callie will be a chatterbox. So, of course, she just was chatting up this kid's uh, eardrums and said, you got to get my dad to do Luigi. Yeah. Wait, how old was the optometrist? Uh, well, no, this is the tech that was doing the better one, better two. The optometrist was the one that uh, told me I had to go by. Or that he encouraged me. He offered for me to go by. Uh, man, should, uh, uh, Spectrum hates the show tonight. It does. Spectrum is being, uh, really Spectrum-y, man. You know what we could do? Uh, do you want, do you want to do, do you want to, do you want to blow minds? Do you want to call this the episode one and then we'll just have an episode two? We'll, we'll, <laughs> we'll, we'll have two episodes because then we could, we could just reboot everything and then we could start it again. <laughs> you think it'll be better? Well, uh, I, I know mean, this, I know a, a reboot will problem, help it, right? and then we don't have to. If, if we stop right now, then the show was interrupted. But if we wrap up the first episode of our double decker, we did two Patreon episodes last week. Oh my good lord! Maybe oh we do two lord. main shows this week. I mean, uh, I, I'm just. Yeah, I mean, I, I will. I will defer to whatever you need to do on the on on the home front there. Uh. Justin, what do we learn <laughs> this week? Uh, we oh, learned that no, Luigi likes a pipe bomb. Yes, he does. Is it okay, that bye. Did? We'll is see it you next episode. Bye. bye. <laughs>